Answer, I am Ra. This entity learned the ability by a natural kind of remembering at a very young age. Unfortunately, this entity first discovered his ability to penetrate intelligent infinity by becoming the distortion you call, angry, at a playmate. This entity was touched by the entity known as Jesus and was fatally wounded. Thus the one known as Jesus became aware that there dwelt in him a terrible potential. This entity determined to discover how to use this energy for the good, not for the negative. This entity was extremely positively polarized and remembered more than most wanderers do. Question 17.20 Questioner, how did this aggressive action against the playmate affect Jesus and his spiritual growth? Where did he go after his physical death? Answer, I am Ra. The entity you call Jesus was galvanized by this experience and began a lifetime of seeking and searching. This entity studied first day and night in its own religious constructs which you call Judaism and was learned enough to be a rabbi, as you call teach learners of this particular rhythm or distortion of understanding, at a very young age. At the age of approximately thirteen and one half of your years, this entity left the dwelling place of its earthly family, as you would call it, and walked into many other places seeking further information. This went on sporadically until the entity was approximately twenty-five, at which time it returned to its family dwelling and learned and practiced the art of its earthly father. When the entity had become able to integrate or synthesize all experiences, the entity began to speak to other selves and teach learn what it had felt during the preceding years to be of a worthwhile nature. The entity was absolved karmically of the destruction of another self when it was in the last portion of lifetime and spoke upon what you would call a cross saying, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. In forgiveness lies the stoppage of the wheel of action, or what you call karma. Question 17.21 Questioner, what density is the entity known as Jesus in now? Answer, I am Ra. This information is harmless though unimportant. This entity studies now the lessons of the wisdom vibration, the fifth density, also called the light vibration. Question 17.22 Questioner, in our culture there is a saying that he will return. Can you tell me if this is planned? Answer, I am Ra. I will attempt to sort out this question. It is difficult. This entity became aware that it was not an entity of itself but operated as a messenger of the one creator whom this entity saw as love. This entity was aware that this cycle was in its last portion and spoke to the effect that those of its consciousness would return at the harvest. The particular mind, body, spirit complex you call Jesus is, as what you would call an entity not to return except as a member of the confederation speaking through a channel. However, there are others of the identical congruency of consciousness that will welcome those to the fourth density. This is the meaning of the returning. Question 17.23 Questioner, can you tell me why you say that the earth will be fourth density positive instead of fourth density negative since there seems to be the much negativity here now? Answer, I am Ra. The earth seems to be negative. That is due to the quiet, shall we say, horror which is the common distortion which those good or positively oriented entities have towards the occurrences which are of your time-space present. However, those oriented and harvestable in the ways of service to others greatly outnumber those whose orientation towards service to self has become that of harvestable quality. Question 17.24 Questioner in other words there will be fewer negative entities than positive entities harvested into the fourth density. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. The great majority of your peoples will repeat third density. Question 17.25 Questioner, how did Tara's Bulba, Genghis Khan, and Rasputin get harvested prior to the harvest? Answer, I am Ra. It is the right privilege duty of those opening consciously the gate to intelligent infinity to choose the manner of their leaving of third density. Those of negative orientation who so achieve this right duty most often choose to move forward in their learned teaching of service to self. Question 17.26 Questioner, is this the reason for what we call spontaneous combustion of human beings? Answer, I am Ra. This is not correct. Question 17.27. Questioner, 
Can you tell me what causes that phenomenon? Answer, I am Ra. Picture, if you will, a forest. One tree is struck by lightning. It burns. Lightning does not strike elsewhere. Elsewhere does not burn. There are random occurrences which do not have to do with the entity, but with the window phenomenon of which we spoke. Question 17.28. Questioner, are these entities uniquely the same, or are they random entities? Answer, I am Ra. The latter is correct. Question 17.29. Questioner, am I to understand that the harvest is to occur in the year 2011, or will it be spread out? Answer, I am Ra. This is an approximation. We have stated we have difficulty with your time space. This is an appropriate probable possible time space nexus for harvest. Those who are not in incarnation at this time will be included in the harvest. Question 17.30. Questioner, if an entity wants to be of service to others rather than service to self while he is in this third density, are there best ways of being of service to others, or is any way just as good as any other way? Answer, I am Ra. The best way to be of service to others has been explicitly covered in previous material. We will iterate briefly. The best way of service to others is the constant attempt to seek to share the love of the Creator as it is known to the inner self. This involves self-knowledge and the ability to open the self to the other self without hesitation. This involves, shall we say, radiating that which is the essence or the heart of the mind, body, spirit complex. Speaking to the intention of your question, the best way for each seeker in third density to be of service to others is unique to that mind, body, spirit complex. This means that the mind, body, spirit complex must then seek within itself the intelligence of its own discernment as to the way it may best serve other selves. This will be different for each. There is no best. There is no generalization. Nothing is known. Question 17.31 Questioner, I don't wish to take up extra time asking questions over again. Some areas I consider important enough in relation to the law of one to ask questions in a different way in order to get another perspective in the answer. In the book OASP it states that if an entity goes over 51% service to others and is less than 50% service to self, then that entity is harvestable. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct if the harvesting is to be for the positive fourth dimensional level. Question 17.32 Questioner, what is to be the entity's percentage if he is to be harvested for the negative? Answer, I am Ra. The entity who wishes to pursue the path of service to self must attain a grade of 5, that is 5% service to others, 95% service to self. It must approach totality. The negative path is quite difficult to attain harvestability upon and requires great dedication. Question 17.33 Questioner, why is the negative path so much more difficult to attain harvestability upon than the positive? Answer, I am Ra. This is due to a distortion of the law of one which indicates that the gateway to intelligent infinity be a gateway at the end of a straight and narrow path as you may call it. To attain 51% dedication to the welfare of other selves is as difficult as obtaining a grade of 5% dedication to other selves. The, shall we say, sinkhole of indifference is between those two. Question 17.34 Questioner, then if an entity is harvested into the fourth density with a grade of 51% for others and 49% for self, what level of the fourth density would he go into? I am assuming that there are different levels of the fourth density. Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. Each enters that subdensity which vibrates in accordance with the entity's understanding. Question 17.35. Questioner, how many levels do we have here in the third density at this time? Answer, I am Ra. The third density has an infinite number of levels. Question 17.36. Questioner. I've heard that there are seven astral and seven duchanic levels. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. You speak of some of the more large distinctions in levels in your inner planes. That is correct. Question 17.37. Questioner, who inhabits the astral and duchanic planes? Answer, I am Ra. 
entities inhabit the various planes due to their vibration nature. The astral plane varies from thought forms in the lower extremities to enlightened beings who become dedicated to teach learning in the higher astral planes. In the Divchanic planes, as you call them, are those whose vibrations are even more close to the primal distortions of love light. Beyond these planes there are others. Question 17.38 Questioner, are there seven subplanes to what we call our physical plane here? Answer, I am Ra. You are correct. This is difficult to understand. They are an infinite number of planes. In your particular space-time continuum distortion there are seven subplanes of mind, body, spirit complexes. You will discover the vibrational nature of these seven planes as you pass through your experiential distortions, meeting other selves of the various levels which correspond to the energy influx centers of the physical vehicle. The invisible, or inner, third density planes are inhabited by those who are not of body complex nature such as yours, that is, they do not collect about their spirit mind complexes a chemical body. Nevertheless these entities are divided in what you may call an artificial dream within a dream into various levels. In the upper levels, desire to communicate knowledge back down to the outer planes of existence becomes less, due to the intensive learned teaching which occurs upon these levels. Question 17.39 Questioner, is it necessary to penetrate one level at a time as we move through these planes? Answer, I am Ra. It has been our experience that some penetrate several planes at one time. Others penetrate them slowly. Some in eagerness attempt to penetrate the higher planes before penetrating the energies of the so-called more fundamental planes. This causes energy imbalance. You will find ill health, as you call this distortion, to frequently be the result of a subtle mismatch of energies in which some of the higher energy levels are being activated by the conscious attempts of the entity while the entity has not penetrated the lower energy centers or subdensities of this density. Question 17.40 Questioner, is there a best way to meditate? Answer, I am Ra. No. Question 17.41 Questioner, at this time, near the end of the cycle, how are reincarnations into the physical allocated, shall we say, on this planet? Answer, I am Ra. Entities wishing to obtain critically needed experience in order to become harvestable are incarnated with priority over those who will, without too much probable possible doubt, need to re-experience this density. Question 17.42 Questioner, how long has this type of allocation been going on? Answer, I am Ra. This has been going on since the first individual entity became conscious of its need to learn the lessons of this density. This was the beginning of what you may call a seniority by vibration. Question 17.43 Questioner, can you explain what you mean by a seniority by vibration? Answer, I am Ra. This will be the final question of this session of working. The seniority by vibration is the preferential treatment, shall we say, which follows the ways of the law of one which encourages harvestable individuals, each individual becoming aware of the time of harvest and the need on a self-level to bend mind, body, spirit towards the learned teaching of these lessons, by giving them priority in order that an entity may have the best possible chance, shall we say, in succeeding in this attempt. May we ask at this time if there are any brief questions? Question 17.44 Questioner, my only question is what can we do to make the instrument more comfortable? Answer, I am Ra. This instrument is not wearing the appropriate apparel for this work. As inpourings occur in the regions of the, what you may call, seventh chakra as you speak of these energy centers, filtering through the sixth and so forth, the entities other or base chakras become somewhat de-energized. Thus, this entity should be more careful in its selection of warm apparel for the part of the body complex you call the feet. May we answer any other brief questions? Question 17.45 Questioner, then we want to put heavier clothing on the feet. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. I will leave this instrument now, I leave you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Adonai.